Reproductive medicine and surgery is a subspecialty branch in obstetrics and gynecology which deals with management of infertile couples, reproductive health problems, fertility preservation, etc. It includes the practice of ART or assisted reproductive techniques which include IUI, IVF, etc. It also involves surgeries for reproductive health, laparoscopic and hysteroscopic surgery. So you also have to be an endoscopy expert. Plus, there will be a lot of ultrasonographies that you will be doing dur during your IVF practice. After your MBBS, you have to do post-graduation in OBG like MD, MS or DNB and then you have to sit for exams like NEET SS, INI SS and FET. With these exams, you get admissions in courses like DM, MCH and FNB. These are the certified courses available in our country and according to the ART Act, you have to work under someone in an IVF hospital for three years before you start your own practice. But if you don't want to take the exams, the other way to do IVF fellowships is to find the nearest, busiest IVF center in a major city near you. Go to the hospital and ask about their fellowship programs or you know, search the website and make an online inquiry. But remember here also, you will have to work under someone for three years to be eligible for your independent practice after this. A lot of obstetricians choose IVF with the hope that they will be able to discontinue their obstetric practice which becomes tiresome for some people because there are so many emergencies. In fact, entire obstetrics is just emergencies only. So a lot of IVF practitioners have stopped, have stopped their routine obsgyny practice. But you all must have heard that this field of reproductive medicine is currently super saturated. And the new practitioners who are joining this field are not only doing IVF, but also doing at least obstetric management of their own IVF patients to increase the amount of practice uh, that they are doing. So it is your choice whether you want to, you know, if you become a good uh, established IVF practitioner, you may as well leave obstetric practice, but a lot of people continue to do both OBS and IVF. So don't do IVF with the hope that you will be able to completely do away with obstetric practice. It also depends on your interest, whether you are interested in the medicine part. Also, there will be a lot of surgeries to be done. You will have to learn laparoscopy either from your center, if, it, if they're teaching, if they're not teaching, you might have to do fellowships in laparoscopy also, because you cannot just be a physician of IVF, you have to be a surgeon. There are going to be some cases which will require surgery, so be ready for that. And also there'll be a lot of ultrasonography, which you will be, which you will get versed with, and you will also start doing obstetric ultrasonography. 